Today, I'm gonna to give you three New Year's resolutions ideas specifically for introverts, because these are the things that tend to challenge you as an introvert, and these are also some things that will help you embrace your inner introvert. The first New Year's resolution is to start journaling. You know, as introverts, we tend to think all the time. We always have thoughts rolling around in our heads. And I can tell you, it feels so good to get those thoughts down on paper, to really authentically journal and get everything down in black and white, in a safe space that we know is for our eyes only. I've got years of journals behind me and I journal every day. Sunday it's for one page, other days it may be for four pages. So that's why I don't specifically like to have dated journals as far as a date for each day because I don't know how much I'm gonna write. I've got a link to a journal if you're just starting out to one that is small that you can take with you and is actually refillable. The other great thing about journaling is you actually get to time travel back into time. So whenever I am really like maybe wrestling with something that I think, you know, I went through something similar before, I'll go back and look in a journal from years ago and read, how did I process this? How did I get through it? So it really does take me back in time to help me in the future. The second New Year resolution idea is what is something that you can take the initiative on, that you can actually take action on, that you've been waiting to come to you, but it's not coming to you. As introverts, we don't like to take the initiative. We like for things to come to us. And isn't it wonderful when things come to us that we want? However, it doesn't always happen that way. So what is one thing that you've been waiting for that hasn't happened and you're thinking, you know what, it might not ever happen. And even if it does, I am tired of waiting and I'm gonna take the initiative. Maybe it's getting together with somebody that you've wanted to establish a deeper friendship or relationship with. Maybe it's asking somebody out on a date. Maybe it is going for a new job that you're wanting. You see, there's a lot of satisfaction when we do initiate rather than sitting around waiting to be chosen. In fact, initiate is my word for 2024 because I decided that I'm gonna take the initiative more even though it is scary. And the thing about taking the initiative is it is going to bring on some anxiety even if it's just one step out of your comfort zone. Erica Hilliard is the author of Living Fully with Shyness and Social Anxiety. And I know just because you're introverted doesn't mean you're shy. It doesn't mean that you have social anxiety. However, she has a lot of tips in here on social interaction and how to go about it. I've got the link to the book below. My favorite quote in this book is, no step is too small as long as it takes you outside of your comfort zone. All exposures will bring on at least mild anxiety. Otherwise, they're not worth doing. And so that should be of comfort to all of us to know that even when we're feeling a little bit anxious, it's normal to feel anxious because it's one step out of our comfort zone. So pick that one thing to take the initiative on that you've been waiting for, and at least you'll make progress. At least you'll get more towards a yes or more towards a no, rather than sitting around waiting to be chosen. The third resolution for introverts is learn how to say no. Believe me, I know it's hard. I have a hard time saying no as well because so many times we feel like saying no is being rude. So a lot of times we may give some answers such as, well, let me think about it, or I'll try. Or we say yes and then something just comes up that we can't do it. There are specifically ways that you can say no without guilt and to say no and still be polite to the other person without leaving them hanging, without having to go back on your word. I've got a video above and in the description below of how to say no without guilt. 
Do you have some resolutions as an introvert that you're going to work on for this year? If so, share those in the comments below so that we can all learn from each other. Thanks for watching.